Wednesday night baseball coming your way from Progressive Field in Cleveland. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. Corey Kluber and Chris Sale go at it on the mound next. Corey Kluber a right hander from Alabama gets the starting assignment. Harold what do you got. Well he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. At the plate Jose Ramirez. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Harold, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night, and I talked to the manager earlier, and he just said, you know, we executed, and if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team, and we'll win games. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead nothing in two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a cut fastball that almost had a little too much cut as it nearly ran in and got him. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matty, everyone's waiting for Pedroia to come alive a little bit. Looking at the last game, it was 0 for 3, but it was the way he went about that 0 for 3. He didn't look very aggressive, and actually, he looked kind of lost to me. I'm wanting to see a different player in that batter's box today. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. Four hits in 19 tries. He also has one home run. Into the windup and the pitch. And that misses ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Bases are empty, one man out. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Batting third, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Now with the plate, Mookie Betts. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here comes the first pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well with Matthew Ross back there we may not see a lot of offense unless you have a game plan to expand the strike zone because he calls out of the zone better than anybody. I should say better. I should say more than anybody in the league. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Three and zero oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and zero. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here it comes on three and zero. Oh. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Just underway here in Cleveland. Yeah. 
in there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Another payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Schizenhaw has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Red Sox nothing. Tribe coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he pitched into the fifth inning last outing. I, I think we've got to get more. I want to see more of this game. If he's able to go deeper, keep his team in it, and maybe walk away with the win. That's what I'm looking for in this game. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off with a drive. Left fielder, Michael Brantley. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. Oh, he reached back and challenged him right there. I, I like that. Early in the count. Here it is, big fella. I know you're a good hitter, but I'm coming right after you. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. On the ground to the right side. Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Time now in Cleveland to take a glance at the Tribe's starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this team does not strike out a whole lot. They put the ball in play, and they rely on putting pressure on the other team. And if you make a mistake, they're going to capitalize. But their name, their game is pressure. Put the ball in play. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's got eight hits in 16 tries. He's taken him deep once. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One out, nobody on. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. And this will be taken by Pedroia for route number two. Batting third. Designated now with the plate, Edwin Encarnacion coming into this one. His season home run total tops in the American League. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time, and the side is retired. In order to go the tribe. Still no score. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s.
first offering on its way. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's the 1 0 now to Ramirez. And he misses again, 2 0. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that Bobby call. Fett. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count, and the Jackie ump thought it was just a Bradley tad off the plate. Jr. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's seen that average climb during his seven game hitting streak. First pitch of the at bat and he takes a pitch right down the middle lifetime against Corey Kluber three base hits in 16 tries he's also hit a couple of home runs against him the 0 1 on its way took a wave at one around the shins with no luck as a hitter you know the pitchers trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation so making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must swing and a ball hit on the ground reined in and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw well that's called smelling the base hit right there he beats out an infield single not everybody hustles out of the box but he darn sure knew he better and he did. Ready now, Xander Bogarts, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Go, From the stretch, sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Nope. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Well, Matt, this is a situation in last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A uh, double play ball to second four six three and they turn the double play. That's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Coming to the plate now, Pablo Sandoval. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, he got a big double play ball right there, but look, he's not out of the woods yet. Still got that run at third base, so he's got to stay locked in, come back with another pitch, and he might get out of that jam 
that you thought no way possible when he got into it. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate and he's behind now 0 and 2. Down the first baseline and a base hit as the run will come in to score and that gives the Red Sox a one nothing lead. I like that hit a lot. That's a clutch two out hit. Now a lot of times we think it's got to equate to late innings. You can do it early in the game too. Gives them a one nothing lead. Sets them up with a nice cushion and now it changes how the game is played on the defensive side as well. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1-0 pitch. A called strike over the outside corner. Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Boston's out in front, one to nothing. Now batting, Chris Colavello. And he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Chris Colavello. Into the windup and the pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. You know what? That ball's right down the middle. I think he was taking first pitch, just really trying to measure it. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that's off the left field wall. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. So striding in Chris Young and as you can see he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First pitch on its way. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center and this is going to split the alley. It's extra bases for Young. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. Lifetime against Chris Sale. Just a one for nine. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. 
Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Big tilt on the slider gets a swing and a miss. This is where getting ahead in the count really pays off for you. Now you can get him to chase a pitch, maybe get a ground ball, double play, or a strikeout. Either way, it's going to help your cause. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. All right, time for an adjusted defensive alignment for the Red Sox. And I'm looking in the outfield at Mookie Betts. This kid came up as a second baseman, flew through the organization, tearing it up. But where are you going to go when you're blocked by Dustin Pedroia? So they moved him to the outfield. I cannot believe how quick he caught on. Here's the third baseman, Matt Dominguez. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back to back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate, and that'll go down as a very important out number two. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1-0 now to Gomes. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two. It's a big at bat right here Matt. You have to get to him early in the game. I know there's two outs. You got to run the scoring position but the good pitchers get stronger the deeper they go in the game. Here comes the one two from sale and here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right so we'll try it again at one and two. One and two here it comes. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Indians strand a couple. It remains 1-0. Digging in now, Tucker Barnhart. And he'll start the out their half of the third, the top of the order 17. to follow. Tucker Barnhart. First offering on its way. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. And he takes a cold strike two. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Another one-two delivery. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. 
Hey, it's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. In now, Jose Ramirez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The wind up and the 1 0 -oh pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. There to pull it in is Brantley, and there are two gone now. Now batting number 15, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Riding in once again, Dustin Pedroia, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Two out, nobody on. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Hit on the ground out to short. Played on the backhand. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they're on top, one to nothing. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Eric Gonzalez. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Now we got a 0-2 count, Matt. And I tell you what, so impressive. He is executing his game plan, going right on the outside half and exploiting those weaknesses. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eric Gonzalez number is set packing to begin the bottom of the Michael third. Boy, he's Red really Lee. on a roll in the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Standing in now, Michael Brantley. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. But one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled back. The 2 2 one more time. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Francisco Lindor waits on deck. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. Well, back to back sliders. Now, the first one was almost like a practice pitch. He saw the spin. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. Lindor.
Stepping in now, Francisco Lindor. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Bradley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there, that number has him tied for second in the AL in that category. Edwin Encarnacion now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two out with the man at first. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Sale sets ready with the one one pitch and a half swing here but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate it'll remain one and two. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. Runner back safely. A runner on first with two away. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Tell you what, that was a nice swing after the sequence, following a fastball to get a changeup, and you foul it off. Pretty good approach. Another try at 2 2. In the air, down the left field line, and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Indians leave one. They still trail 1 0. Here's Mookie Betts. Leading He's off for Boston. for one thus far. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. First pitch of the one inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. Here it comes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Pitch on the way. Swing at a high pop drifting into foul territory. Colabello is there for it. He's got it one away. Now batting the first baseman Henley Ramirez stepping in and ready for another shot Henley Ramirez no official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one and there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low halfway to 100 pitches here it is driven down the left field line will it stay fair it will just to the right of the chalk a fair ball well this ball's hit off the wall he hit it awfully hard now I thought it was a good move to now stop batting. because a lot of times you Center go oh he's dogging it looked Jackie like he was going pretty good Bradley but I think they're going to throw him out good read to get back to first Here's Jackie Bradley now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Well there's a first pitch strike you know only 50 percent of the pitches he's throwing first pitch this game have been for a strike so I'm surprised that he's having as much success so far as he is. Oh and one count and the pitch. 
Ball chop foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. Owen, oh, two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high pop up to the left side. Dominguez is there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. The shortstop, number two. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. And he'll dive back in safely. Chopped foul wide at first. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it one to nothing. Standing in, Chris Colabello. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Number 13. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Here's the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Here's Chris Young. As he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion oh, right at this point in the season it's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in as he'll take a look at ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sail into the windup. Here's the 1 0. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Here comes the 1 2 from Sale. Hard hit ball to short, and that's through for a hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Well Matt that's his eighth game with that hit right there oh, eight man. games in a row to swing the bat. We've been watching him over this week just scorching. Here's the third baseman Matt Dominguez 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch here's the pitch. Tough one to lay off called a strike. Tie and run at first base. He's got to make sure that a ball in the gap, he scores. He's got to get a great jump. And one way to do it, as soon as you see that ball through the zone and you see the swing and it makes contact, you just got to get flying. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Fouled back. It, 
on its way the 0 2 pitch and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning one left for the tribe they're down one nothing. Here's the panda now Pablo Sandoval he'll start things out here Designated against Corey Harris. Kluber Pablo Sandoval into the windup and the pitch now a check swing but he holds up in time ball one pulled toward right center field chasing after it is young but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass now batting. the left handed hitting left Andrew Benintendi Andrew stands in Benintendi. he's 0 for 1 thus far he's set and the pitch now a swing and a ground ball. A one pitch on its way hit down the third baseline but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen two now looking to punch him out again the pitch in the dirt here good job there as the count goes to one and two. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again one two. Smoked on the ground up the middle, barehanded for one on to first, and they turn the double play. Hey, it's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone, and if you do do anything with it, most of the time this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Into the box Tucker Barnhart. Nope. And a ball one and zero oh. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a base hit, make him 1 for 2 in this one. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box it. scores. But Great man, that ball is hit hard we'll up the middle. Right He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Comes set and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on it's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you this is on the ground over the first a diving effort here as he gets a glove on it and a good effort here but he's well safe at first and there are two on and two out now looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here not sure why the pitching coach is even going to the mound this guy's been on cruise control the entire game might be he's just giving his pitcher a chance to catch his breath regroup and regain some of that focus ready for another shot now Dustin Pedroia. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing. Come on, let's get this Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And he couldn't hold back that time. They say he went around at strike one. Woo! 
on the stretch. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Well, that'll get your head shaking at the plate. That's a pitch he hasn't used much in this game. Now he throws that for a strike, and you add that to the rest of his repertoire. Man, it's tough to cover them all. In there at the letters, one and two now. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a line drive. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. Barnhart is on his way home. And the run will score from second to make this a two-nothing ball game. Machés are around for a reason, and that hit right there is a reason they say baseball is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. Stepping into the box, Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch good swing there but this is fouled off to the right side hoping to limit the damage here's the pitch and one and one as this one's in on the hands well I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage if he's unable to do that this game could get away from him Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Come on, Indians. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ends up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Red Sox get a run on the RBI double by Pedroia. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 2 0 Boston. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. He leads off in the bottom Leading of the fifth the as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1-0. Oh. The windup and the 1-0 oh pitch. Nope. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Oh. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. Makes the play one away. So another nine. exceptional Second effort for him on the mound. All He's right. got the shutout Nine. working Nine. here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready for another chance? Eric Gonzalez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. No runs, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. 
And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And he chased it in the dirt. Barnhart has it. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Here's Michael Brantley. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit and two tries for him so far. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in and looking for more. Hanley Ramirez. He'll start things out First now in the time. top half of the sixth. Hanley Ramirez. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Now the 1 1 to Ramirez. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. It's a solo shot for Hanley Ramirez. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. And this is an all familiar sight something we've seen all season long when they need a clutch hit or an offensive blast. He's their go to guy and this is just one example in a long line of many. He's fun to watch. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Your attention please. Now and a new pitcher is summoned from the bullpen as it'll be the left hander Boone Logan that gets the call. The center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's one for two in this one. Ball called for strike two. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. Woo! 
Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Now another 0 2. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right hander starts to loosen up. In now Xander Bogarts. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally, not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, but both of those sliders back to back were so good, I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Three runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And this pitch sails behind him at the plate as he has to arch his back that time. It's ball one. Ready on one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Colabella will get there as he's able to tuck this one away just past the first base dugout for route number two. Designated hitter, Pablo Sandoval. Digging in to try it again, Pablo Sandoval. Two base hits, both singles to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground is short. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Three for three on the night. He's feeling good right now. You know, I watched now him batting. hit earlier in batting practice. Well, he looked terrific. He Andrew just carried that over Bennett. to Bennett. the game. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi, as he'll cut on and miss it. A good slider at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the 0-1. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. This pitch just misses a bit inside and catches him about mid thigh. That's the meaty part of Lake. So as soon as the initial pain wears off, he should be just fine. Into the box, Tucker Barnhart. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One and no pitch on the way. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Hey. 
And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. Boston leads it 3 0. So here's Francisco Lindor now. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Oh, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. First pitch of the at-bat. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Ramirez is there for it. One out. Pattern, That's ten. exactly what they Designated wanted hitter. out of that pitch up Edwin. in the zone. And they took him off the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Edwin Encarnacion now. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. And certainly no offer at that one. It's one and two. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Man, when you're winning on the road, the last thing you want to do is give the home crowd a reason to get back into it. Well, when you hit the leadoff, man, that's exactly what you do. Ready for another chance? Chris Colabello. He's one for two in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. I like the aggressiveness, Matt. He hits the batter, then he comes right back with the fastball and says, dare you to hit it. I'm coming after you. Oh, and one, here it comes. And he misses with it, one and one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. I love how aggressive he is. He's just attacking the zone with the fastball. Here it is. Now he's at one, two count. And really, he can go anywhere he wants now. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Riding in once again, Chris Young. One for two with a double on his line thus far. This is foul right side.
set to deliver the 0 and 1. This one's down to third. Ramirez is there on to second for the force out and the side is retired. Indians leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Back here in Cleveland, Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Your Zach McAllister wait. will come now on now to make his 30th end. appearance of the Number year so far. Zach McAllister. Jose Ramirez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Action going on now in the Indians bullpen as they have a left hander up and getting loose. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Now here's the pitch. On the corner away a ball and a strike. Now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two really deceptive change up there very well executed it looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. It's a swinging bunt up the line that winds up foul. Here he comes again one two hit out towards second Gonzalez. Has it and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting number 15 second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Trying to pick things up where he left off Dustin Pedroia. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And now a pitch on the way. Sharp slider that time just missed inside. Well back to back sliders and now he finds himself down 2 0. You know trying to pitch him backwards that only works if you're throwing strikes. If not you find yourself in trouble. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. That's the third slider in a row. And I'm going to tell you what, I think he'll probably throw four and maybe five if he needs it. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Young is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Ready once again, Mookie Betts. His prior history in this matchup, he's two for four. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Brantley is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. They'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Tough one to lay off. Called a strike. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. 
seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0 2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, that's great discipline. He's clearly sticking with his plan. Those two balls were down. He's thinking to himself, make him get it up before I swing. Get it off the knees. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here Got after back. an eight pitch at bat. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's the third baseman, Matt Dominguez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. And he lays off for a ball two and one. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat much more patient and he's gotten himself into a good hitters count. Two and two looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Bases are empty one man out. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Sale's ready. Here it is on 0 and 1. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. On to the home run porch and gone. A solo shot down the line in left, number 10 for him on the year. And the Indians are now on the board. It's a three to one ball game. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. And that will bring up Eric Gonzalez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider, more of a slurve right there, but it's one and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but 
That one was pretty much middle middle center cut tough pitch to take. Lays off two and two now. There's that tight slider right there just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. Looking to send him packing again. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next three, two. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. But the tribe draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now a 3 1 ball game. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. First offering on its way. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Well, he finds himself down 0-2, but those are two good pitchers' pitches. Both on the inside half, both for strikes. There's nothing you can do with it. You just got to hope now you get something to hit. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Here's another one too. Again he sends it out of play. Well when you're hitting with two strikes you're just in battle mode right there he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. And a change up swung on and missed for the first down. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2 and 0. Oh. In his career versus this pitcher, he's gone two for five. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and 0. Oh. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Hard hit ball to second. A leap but he can't bring it down. Base hit. He got lucky right there behind the count three and oh and you knew he was going to green light. He just didn't get any lift. Giving up a single he still kept him in the ballpark. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Runners off for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Hey, it's not easy to steal on a catcher that has a good arm, but he did just that and beats that throw into second base.
Now a pickoff play at second and the runner back easily. The 0 1 on its way. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Red Sox leave one, and it's still 3-1. Carson Smith is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 39, Carson Smith. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll see what he can do leading, leading off the home eight. Number 23, left fielder Michael Brantley. This is lifted out to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Makes the play one away. Now batting. Digging in oh, once stop. again. Francisco, Francisco Lindor. Who could really Lindor. use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the stretch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. A one pitch on its way. A wave and a miss. And that slider is almost in the dirt. One out, nobody on. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number 10, designated hitter, Edwin and Edwin Encarnacion now. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. On the ground, up the middle. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Down in order go the tribe. Score holds, it's three to one. It's been a nice night for baseball here in Cleveland as we welcome you back to the ninth inning in this one. 
Cody Allen enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Chisenhall waits on it. One out. The catcher, number 17, Tucker Barnhart. Ready for another shot now. Tucker Barnhart. He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Ready to deal, here's the one one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's two and one. Now here it comes. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Ball three to the nine hitter, and everybody's kind of going, all right, if we can just get him to walk him with the leadoff guy coming up next, they got a chance to have a big inning. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Striding into the box, Jose Ramirez. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Right over the middle, knee high. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. And he looks at a ball one and two. I like how he's pitching. He chased that pitch 0 oh, 1. Well, go right back up there again. He went back up there 0 oh, 2. He laid off it. That's okay. Now you go see if you can get him out another way. Checked his got? swing there. And did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And that ball's not intentional. That was a, not even a fastball. Relax, relax now, people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Once again, a three two. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. They keep the line moving, and Dustin Pedroia will have a chance. Well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. Here's another multi-hit game. It's not one hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Previous showdowns with Cody Allen, one for four. First offering on its way. Ball one. Runner. 
Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox, but they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. Your attention, please. Now Ninth inning safe situation shot. coming up now Number as they'll entrust 46. Craig Kimbrell with the Craig baseball here Kimbrell. as he'll try and close things out. At the plate, Chris Colabello. He's batting cleanup in this one, Leading but will get us started here in the, in the inning, inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not Number much to 13. get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now the pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. Hey, that was a great Cut battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off Rich. some really tough Young. pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Young. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. All ones you count. Nobody out, runner on first. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Come on, yeah. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. You walked the first guy, now you're sitting here 3 1. You have to get your pitch to hit, don't let him off the hook. A runner at first with no outs here. Go, 
And this is fouled into the seats over from first. From the stretch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. The right fielder, number eight. Digging in, Lonnie, Lonnie Chisenhall. Chisenhall. And in previous meetings with Craig Kimbrell, one for three. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The high fastball is in there. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, he's got a double play situation right here. If he can get the ball down, everything's been up. So I'm not really looking for a double play. It might take two or three hitters to get out of this jam. Here's the 0 and 2. And a fastball just a bit up. Ready to deliver the one and two. The knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Ready with the two and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Coming to the plate now, Matt Dominguez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Kimbrell's ready. First pitch on its way. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox are back in the win column again as they take game three of the series. And the ball game is over. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one the final. Chris Sale. Burns win number 15 tops on the staff as he struck out 13 in this one. Craig Kimbrell closes the door for the save his 39th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more make your way on over to the show